Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Nick. I'm here today. I'm checking out the Fender American Vintage 2 1973 Stratocaster in aged natural finish. Okay, so at the outset of this video, I think it's gonna be valuable to just give you a little bit of context here, which is, I got this thing back in July. I filmed a first impression video with it. I had every intention of posting it then, but uh, my work got crazy and I spent the next four months just staring at a computer with no time to come up for air and do anything else. So this video will not run in a linear chronological order. I'm going to kind of bounce back between then and now to give you a better idea of what this guitar is like. Okay, I got my trusty kitchen knife. I'm going to break this thing open. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right, there it is. So... A little funny that the, that the tint on the on the headstock is so orange and this is so not orange. Um, I'm looking at the neck pocket because that's just always what I do and that thing looks pretty tight from what I can tell. The rosewood looks good to me. Well, the poly finish on the neck, I am not used to that, but it's nice and, well, it's really smooth. And the frets, oh, maybe not sprouty, but maybe a little sharp. Well, the neck. Wow, that's got a really interesting shape. It's like really, really vertically uh, from top to bottom. It's like much wider than I was expecting and, and front to back much skinnier than I was expecting. I think I was, I think I was expecting a little more of like a U shape, but no, this is like a really, it almost feels like a D shape or something. Okay, so a few things I'm noticing. Um, this neck, this poly neck, I don't have any guitars that have a poly neck. And oh my gosh, this is like the smoothest, nicest thing <laughs> I've ever felt in my life. Um, but no, it feels really good. It's super smooth. And uh, the, the neck shape, I actually really like the uh, the neck shape. It's like way different than, than the 60s and the 50s and stuff like that. Um, another thing is the frets feel sharp. <laughs> oh. So let me get this plugged in and let's let's give some sound tests. Here we go, let's hear it. bright and uh i don't know the pickups sound really hot let's see what other kind of 70s kind of licks do i have No, it's spreading out bad. Okay, I thought this I thought this action seemed really, really low. Oh. No, that's just dead. I can't even get a whole step in there. Okay, so clearly this thing needs a setup. Uh, and it needs I don't know if I'm gonna keep this actually. This is like uh the frets are just driving me nuts, and I've only been playing this thing for like five seconds. Okay, so here we are back in November. And as you can see from that first impression video I filmed back in July, I was just bummed on this guitar. I had every intention of returning it. I went as far as getting the uh, return authorization number from the dealer the day that I pulled that thing out of the package. Um, but you know, what ended up happening was it's like, I put the thing back in the case, started to think about it a little bit. And I started to think about the things that I liked about the guitar. My wife would talk to me about normal stuff and I would just find myself for the rest of the day kind of daydreaming about that guitar. Uh, I slept on it overnight, uh, thinking about it again, started to kind of think about the things that I liked about it. And it just kind of made me, at least inspired me to open the thing back up and give it another try. Um, and when I did that, I was pulling the neck off of the guitar to, to take care of the setup. That's what I was going to do. See if I could give it like, you know, a fair shake. I pulled the neck off the guitar because I'm used to my 50s, 60s guitars where the truss rod adjustment is at the heel. Uh, not up at the top like they have on the 70s. And when I pulled the neck off, I realized that the guitar had my name stamped on the body. 
uh, from one of the builders or who, who knows, but I just thought that was the coolest thing. And that was just like a sign of destiny. Like, Oh, now I have to keep this guitar. So I was sold. I'm like, okay, here's what I, I'm going to keep this guitar. I'm going to make this guitar something that I want to keep. So I adjusted the relief on the neck. I peeled the plastic off the pick guard. So that was the point of no return. No go back. Then I ended up decking the bridge. Uh, cause I don't use the tremolo. Um, I put new strings on it. I raised the action and intonated a little bit. And uh, after I took those basic steps, it was like a noticeable improvement. The guitar has my name on the inside, so of course I'm keeping it. And it's a funny phenomenon that after you do something like peel the plastic off and then the option to return it gets taken away, all of a sudden you start really thinking about all the things you like about it because you have to because uh, you're not impartial anymore. Now it's very subjective. You're biased. It's your guitar. That's exactly what happened to me. Um, but I still had the issue of the frets. So what I did was I ended up taking it to my local luthier. Uh, and what he ended up doing was re-crowning them because what it seemed like was it seemed like... Um, they weren't sharp at the sprouts. They didn't sprout out beyond the fretboard. It just seems like the frets, if this is the edge of the fretboards, they ran the frets up to the very edge and then just chopped them. So it's like, it's like the, it was the tops that were kind of cutting up my fingers. Um, so maybe that's just the style of the seventies guitars. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert about seventies strats. I tend to prefer fifties and sixties, but that's what he did. He rolled them over, uh, recrowned them, and it made it feel so much better. So four months later, wrapping it up on this first impression video, all the emotion has gone away from it. Um, so I can just say, like, I do really like this guitar. The neck on it is the highlight for me. The poly finish um, and the shape, which is not quite a C, not quite a D, not quite a U, uh, somewhere in between all those. It's just got a really cool, unique feel. Now that I've done all this work to it, it plays really good. And for me, again, I'm just not emotional about the quality control issues that I ran into at the outset. I was then uh, because, yeah, I think that you spend that much money. It would be nice to get a guitar that is executed the way that it is intended. Uh, but that could be another discussion for another day. Um, so if you're checking one of these things out, here's what I'd say. Try to make sure you can find one that you can return if you're buying it sight unseen or even better yet, try to find one in a local shop that you can play and fall in love with because that is really going to be the best way uh, to find the one that's meant for you. So anyways, there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a great day and I hope this was helpful.